Welcome back to school. Happy Thursday. I am Henry. I am Addie. And I am Sophia. The camera person today is Alex B. Janu today is Thursday. January 24th. Today is Cycle Day 2. What sports do you play? I play football, hockey, and baseball. What sports do you play? I play basketball and volleyball. What sports do you play? I do horseback riding. The goodest citizen topic of the week is I take care of what belongs to me and I respect what belongs to others. How do you do this? I ask if I can use someone else's things and I return it to them when I'm done. Lunch today is bread and mozzarella sticks, cheese pretzel and seeds, chef salad, marinara sauce, curly pasta, mixed green salad, assorted fruit, milk variety. The word of the week is independent. Say it with me. Independent. independent. One more time. Independent. independent. Independent means doing something on your own. For example, I read independently. Happy birthday to Abigail J, Anne Marie W, Andrea C, and Lydia F. Joke of the day. What is a tree's favorite app? What? Snapchat. Ha 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 ha. Announcements. Many grade levels are doing map testing this week. Please be quiet in the halls and try your best. Grades are going to be up on Friday. Ask your parents to check them. Cold and flu season is here. LVE wants to be the healthiest school in the whole district. How can we do this? Wash our hands every time you go to the bathroom and don't eat and share items. Wipe down tables, chairs, and electronics. Cough into our elbow and not our hands. Stay home if we are feeling sick. Remember to use the line basics in the hall. This means... Two lines facing forward. Hands and feet to yourself. Voices are off. Why do we use line basics? Because it helps us get across the building quickly and quietly. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to read, 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 and take time to be kind. Please take care of each other today by doing something special for someone. You may now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance after this short video. Bye! Jimmy, you got a D on your report card. Why are you smiling? I know, I did get a D and that is my continuous progress report. We no longer call them report cards. Grades are different from when you were a kid. I'm being graded on end of the year learning benchmarks because I'm still learning things. I might have a lot of D's because that means I'm developing in this area. My teacher is still helping me achieve the skills to master this learning target. At least that's what my teacher and Mr. O say. So if D means developing, does M mean meets learning targets? Exactly. M means I have already, at this time of the year, achieved this grade level learning target. And I can do it all on my own. My goal is to get all M's or meets all learning targets by the end of this school year. I see an X here. What does that mean? An X means we haven't learned about it yet, but don't worry. I'll learn about it by the end of the school year. Is there anything else that I'm missing? The last letter is N. N means I do not meet the learning target. This means I have not met the grade level learning targets in this area. This is really cool. I can see from this continuous report card that you're still learning and working on things for the end of the year and towards your progress and these goals. I'm glad that D's don't mean the same thing from when I was in school. I agree and my teacher told me to remind you if you have any questions to please call them. 